Hey, I'm up here at Southside Harley Davidson in Indianapolis. Uh, Eric Anderson happens to know that I love the Road King. I've been riding one since 2000. Said they came out, Harley Davidson came out with a Road King special. So he gave me a call. We came up here. We're going to take a look at it. I haven't seen one yet. I'm kind of excited about this one. <laughs> you know, that looks pretty darn nice right there. I like I like the look of it, the, 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 the black motor. You know, I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want with them as, as far as a Road King goes, but this is the way I like them. I don't, I don't like the windshield. I love the windshield off. Unless we're going on a long ride, then I become a weenie and I put the windshield back on. It's pretty wild looking, actually. It's uh, the whole design on it. It's, it's, it's almost like the Road King met the Fat Boy, if that makes any sense. It, it, it's kind of a, it's, it's a very muscle look, that's for sure. It's got a very tough muscle look. I mean, obviously it feels like a Road King. The thing I love about the Road Kings is the low center of gravity. I just, I love the way it is. It's, it's you know, they're, they're so easy to ride. When you're, when you go into the curves, they're, they're, they're big, they're touring bikes, but yet you can strip them down like this right here is just, to me, it's just a really cool look. It's, it's great for running around town. It's great for long trips. You can do anything you want on a Road King. And I think that's why I've been so partial to them all these years. But uh, this, is, this is really nice. This has got a, a much different look than what my Road King looks like, which is the Road King uh, Classic back in 2000. So yeah, I think Eric's gonna let me take this for a ride. I'm gonna take it around the, take it around the block a time or two and uh, come back and let's see how she does. Got a nice feel to it. The seat fits pretty good. Again, this is totally stock. This is right off the showroom floor. I don't know anybody that stays with a completely stock bike. I know we all like to put our own special touches on it, whether it's changing the seat, the handlebars, moving controls forward, rear, mid, whatever. And we always put our own accessories on there to make it our own bike. Right now, it fits me pretty good. Yeah, the seat really sets you up. We're gonna get out of the main traffic here. Corners very well. I do like the new throttle response on these new Harleys. Obviously, anytime you have a Road King that you want me to ride, I'm always thrilled to do it. Love the Road King. This did not disappoint at all. The, um, you know, being totally stock, you know, I made the comment. It was like if a Road King and a Fat Boy had a baby, this is what they would have produced right here. Because it's like, to me, it, it, to me, the Fat Boy was always, to me, one of my favorite looking of the Harley, Harley bikes. But I love the Road King. And it was like, it's just the perfect combination. I noticed, like even with the stock handlebars are different than what my stock handlebars were back in 2000. I'm not leaning over as much as I was on right, mine. Right. I'm sitting more up. The seat obviously designed totally different where you're sitting up. And I believe Harley has made a lot of these seats, these saddles this way, because you need a little something behind you when you twist the throttle anymore. You do, it's, you the do. The throttle response is unbelievable. The, the way the transmission works. Now, again, you still you, you still hear it when you're shifting gears. It's a Harley, you're supposed to hear it. Yeah. My bike, you hear ka clang This mm -hmm. bike, you hear it thump, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. But but you know when you're in gear, it's just, uh, just a fun bike to ride, yeah. my goodness. Now, I know you can give us the specs on all this, but um, first question is if you wanted to put the windshield on 
you can do so if you want to put the detached torch on or luggage rack yep, or anything. Absolutely. That. All that stuff's available, correct? Yep. So but, let me ask you, if this is a cross between a fat boy and a road king, would it be called a fat king or a road boy? <laughs> Let's go with fat king. <laughs> okay, cool, Fat King. So, fat king. here we have the 2017 Harley-Davidson Fat King <laughs> in Scott Schnizzler's. <laughs> no, uh, you know, this is a, a fabulous motorcycle, and it's a great transition from the stock Road King like you have into something that gives it a little more sporty appearance to it. Mm -hmm. They call this the Road King Special, and what they did is they brought out the Street Glide uh, rear fender on it, so it's got a Street Glide rear fender look to it. They added the stretched bags to it. They went with a 19 inch front wheel on it. These are brand new wheels Harley Davidson just came out with. They're called the Turbine Wheel. Huh. This is in a gloss black and it's an excellent wheel. It comes in black and chrome contrast and you can also get it in chrome, but it really gives us a nice touch. Blacked out the front end on it, nacelle, handlebars. You know, if you took this and it was a stock Road King like yours, you would spend thousands of dollars blacking it out. You right. can get this right from the factory. They came right from the factory this way, all blacked out. The black version runs $21,999, and you're about $23,499 for the hard candy hot rod red flake. So four colors to choose from, the charcoal denim, olive gold pearl, which is a green. You also have the hard candy hot rod red flake, a red metal flake. And then, of course, every Harley-Davidson comes in basic black. Correct. So it's black on black on black on black on black. What do most Harley riders want? Black on black. Right. And they like black on chrome. But it's, it has the powerhouse of the Milwaukee 8. Remember we talked about this in earlier segments yes. last year, the new Milwaukee 8 engine that came out, four valves per cylinder, two spark plugs per cylinder. You know, 75% less vibration at idle. That's, I mean, obviously, over your bike. obviously for my bike, that's the probably the biggest, the first thing I notice yep, is absolutely. I'm not doing this when I'm sitting at the traffic light. It's, yep. it's just amazing. Yep, so you've got the four valves, two spark plugs, better fuel economy. You're gonna see better fuel economy. You're gonna have more horsepower and torque than what your mm -hmm. 88 engine does. Uh, so, you know, the powerhouse, uh, bringing all that with the new frame, the 49 millimeter front forks on there with the dual valve bending technology. So uh, did you find it was a much better ride up front? Oh, better yeah. handling on the oh, bike? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, much better handling. Uh, I noticed that, you know, you, you know, cornering, all that stuff. It's just like, it was, it, the response is yeah. just, um, you know, I've said, I, I, I said at the end of last year that this new Milwaukee 8 and all the other technology they put into it, Harley really, really stepped up their game. Yeah. I mean, really stepped it up. It was like, you know, you take baby steps along each year and then all right. of a sudden, man, every now and then you take this big giant leap and that's yep. kind of what Harley did with this new, this new motor and this, it's just, it's just, there's no comparison. Yeah. You know, if you, uh, if we put this up against your bike, Scott, uh, what Harley says is that if we, if you rode these two bikes together, this one in a 16, this bike could be two to three bike lengths faster, zero to 60 and one to two, 60 to 80. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of figuring that between this bike and your bike, you're probably looking at least a quarter mile difference in this bike to your bike. You'd still be at the starting line and this would be going <laughs> yeah. through the lights at the end. Oh, most definitely. Um, but most it's, definitely. you know, you twist the grip and this thing is gone. It's just so torquey. And you know, look at look at your bike. You've got the Road King Classic. Road what King what Classic. year is yours again? 2000. Uh, Bought 2000. A brand new in 2000. So look at the 17 years of motorcycles really the same identity to the Road King. Mm -hmm. You know, the fat nacelle in the front. Of course, you've put the ape hanger bars on yours. Uh, you've got the same look uh, with the saddlebags. You've got the hard leather saddlebags on yours. Twin cam 88 engine, five speed, 107 cubic inch engine, six speed transmission. As you said, that shifts much easier than this one does. Oh, you yeah. get clunk, clunk when you shift. They worked on that transmission so yeah. that that didn't do that in that motorcycle. Just, just fabulous bike, but still retains that custom Road King look. Exactly. I mean, and, and that's that's it exactly. I mean, you you can still tell. You sit this one next to a, a 1963, mm -hmm. and and, and uh, I mean, obviously it wasn't Road King back then, but you know, you sit it down there, the FLH. Yep. And yep. they look exactly. You know, I mean, almost identical, but. Um, you know, when you stand back and you look at them, obviously there are some some major differences that they've come up with now. You know, one thing I noticed, Eric, we're talking about the similarities on these in these bikes. Over the years, I know Harley that the speedometers have changed, and some have a tack built in and everything else. And so, therefore, 
the numbers get smaller and smaller. Well, as I get older and older, my, yeah. my, my vision up close has gotten worse. And I've noticed on some of the newer bikes when I'm riding them, I can't really read the speedometer anymore mm -hmm. because it's gotten so small. And I've noticed on this bike, it is exactly like what I have on my bike. And it's nice big numbers. It's kind of basic and simple. And I yep. can I actually see what I was doing when I was yep. riding down the road. Well, if you think about it, when these bikes came out, that was kind of the era of the baby boomers. So they were all young, they could all see well. Well, you know, right. now that we're all getting older, they got to make the numbers bigger because the last thing you'd want to do, Scott, is have to get your reading glasses out of your pocket. <laughs> exactly. Get exactly. your reading glasses out of your pocket, put your reading glasses on, and then because you were too bright, you got to put your sunglasses on over them. <laughs> exactly. And now you're riding down the road looking like this, Scott. What a <laughs> dork, right? So they made the numbers bigger so that we could read them without wearing reading glasses, right? Exactly. And I do. I did like that. I love the speedometer on there where I can actually see it. I love it. Eric, thank you once again hey, for letting you're me very take welcome. one of these yeah. out. Absolutely. It's been a blast. 